So I'm standing in front of a townhome right now. Wait, what? Is that a townhome or is that a ranch home? It's not every day you see a home that looks like a ranch home, but a townhome structure. I am in short pump, believe it or not, and that little townhome is $284,000. So imagine living in a small little rancher for under $300,000 in short pump. That's amazing, and that's what this is. So let's check it out, see what it's all about. It's kind of small, but it's nestled between two townhomes that are actually in townhome structures, just like this neighborhood is, and this is the colonies at Wild Lake. This is a lake community, and we're gonna take a walk to the lake in a, in a minute. We're not on the lake here, but I could see it right from where I'm standing. And we'll check that out in a second, but let's get inside and take a closer look. And by the way, my name is Ron DeSanto. I'm a real estate agent here in Richmond, Virginia. And if you're thinking about buying or selling, don't hesitate to pick up the phone, give me a call. I'm getting a lot of calls now from YouTube and I really love it. And I look forward to working with everybody. Okay, so entering into the front, we have a little foyer here, nice size coat closet. And here's the living room. Nice wood floors. I could smell that they, uh, they might have just refinished those floors. I could smell the polyurethane. High vaulted ceilings, nice skylight over there. Uh, sliding glass door going out to a deck. So let's walk through it really quick. And I wanna talk a little bit about the pricing on this one because it's not cheap, but it is unique. This um, subdivision has little ranch style homes nestled between two normal two-story townhomes. And I think this is really neat because it allows for a townhome structure, which is usually more affordable than a single family detached home, but still have the single level living. Um, so you got the affordability and the convenience all in one. So they got the old stoves in here. So yeah, you, you, could, you could update this pretty easily. This is a small kitchen. It wouldn't cost much. The base cabinets, I think, seem to be in great shape. Let's see here, what did they do? Oh yeah, these are, these are in great shape. If you wanted to really dress it up, I would replace these countertops, put in some granite countertops, a nicer sink. Of course, you're gonna replace that dishwasher and that stove. I'm sure they're working fine, they're functional. It's not something you'd have to do right away, I'm sure, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't take much to make this look really nice. These are good windows, double insulated, nice, nice, I like them. So let's go through the bedrooms. Now this is only two bedrooms, which is good because you know your bedrooms are gonna be a little bit bigger because the square footage is gonna be, um, it's not gonna be divided up into three bedrooms. You have a laundry room right here. You have enough room for a washer and dryer side by side. I don't think you need to go stack them high like that, but then uh, you could you know, take advantage of the storage if you did wanna stack them. The top shelf up there goes up pretty high. There's your return for your HVAC. It looks like a 20 by 20 filter. Here's the bathroom. This house was built in 1987, and it looks like that is original, but it looks like it's in great shape. I really like this. I'm excited about this little house because there are a lot of people that want to get into short pump, and they just can't afford it, and they don't want a townhouse because they don't like going up and down steps. I don't blame them. I'm 49, and I don't like steps. I can't even imagine being older and having to deal with it. And here's bedroom number one. The carpet. I could smell the carpet, the newness of it. So I'm guessing these are probably new carpets. It's got that new carpet smell. You got a closet here. And then the second bedroom. This is probably the primary bedroom because this has another bathroom off it. So you have two full bathrooms in a tiny 952 square foot townhome. This carpet looks to be new as well. And these windows, these are nice windows. Aha, it is new carpet, I knew it. Here's the remnants of it extra here they left for you. I have a couple of people that are interested in something like this. That'll let them know about this here. Because the thing about townhomes, the, the two floors have to go up and down all the time. 
So you got the road in the back there, which is not the best. But let's go to the lake. Let me show you what the, the lake looks like. The lake is called Wild Lake. I live literally four minutes from here. This is like right across from me. So right here, I'm looking out on the front porch. And this is what the community looks like. I like these. I like these. Look at that. That looks like a, a regular colonial. You know, that looks like a normal townhome. Life looks like a colonial. You got another house, the white one right there. That's just like this one. And the lake is right there. So see how you can see it from the front porch? That's kind of cool. Let's take a walk down there now and take a closer look. So this is it. This is Wild Lake. Right in Short Pump, there's a big lake. <laughs> and people fish in this lake and they actually catch stuff too. But, but there it is. And I just wanted to go over a couple of more details about that house we just saw. So the maintenance on it is $245 a month. There is a $150 a year uh, annual Wild Lake Association fee. And that $245 a month will pay for common areas, exterior maintenance, management fees, snow removal, and trash removal. So I just wanted to cover those things. So if you're thinking about moving to Richmond, don't hesitate to pick up the phone, give me a call. I look forward to hearing from all of you. My contact information is gonna be right over here and in the description below. Have a great day and thanks for watching.